I'm Sammy Purcell with Rough Draft Atlanta. And I'm WABE contributor Mike Jordan. And this is How Do You Atlanta. Here's a look at what's going on in Atlanta this week. Sammy, what do you have for us this week? Well, one thing I'm really excited about enjoying all month long is Bubbles and Brews. So this event started on March 1st, and it's going to be going all the way through the end of the month. There will be a ton of unique events from spirit makers, breweries, distilleries, all throughout Cobb County. So it's a Cobb County-specific event. And online at bubblesandbrews.com, you can find all the hot spots along the Cobb Ale Trail, is what we're calling it, uh, that will be participating this month. So that includes ASW Distillery, Burnt Hickory Brewery, Broken Anchor Winery, and so many others. You can grab your digital brew pass online, and I would go ahead and get that as soon as you can so you can get to drinking. Again, that's Bubbles and Brews all throughout Cobb County this month. All right, what are you excited about this week? I'm excited about Night of Ideas. So this is a free event, and it happens in more than 20 cities around the U.S., but it's coming to Atlanta as it's done before. And basically it's this marathon of performances, speeches, readings, and all of this sort of like very creative activism and a conversation around it. It's put on in partnership with the Atlanta Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs and also a French cultural institution called Via Albertine. I'm not French, so I'm <laughs> sure I didn't say that she right. But uh, the theme is justice and real realizing dreams so 50 participants are going to explore all of these different ideas about voting rights and climate change and activism through art and there also is going to be a live performance by a very good uh, crew called the Soul Food Cipher if you're familiar with them they do these freestyle raps and they're going to perform all around the venue so that is on the March 4th uh, it's National Center for Civil and Human Rights is where it's taking place and you can get tickets for free at nightofideas.org what do you have going on? All right, well, something I'm really excited about starting, I think, today is the Renegade Film Festival, which is a local film festival that aims to elevate marginalized voices in cinema and through filmmaking. So if you're looking to sort of expand your cinematic horizons, this is definitely the place to do it. There are going to be a ton of fun things to enjoy throughout the weekend, starting Thursday with a meet and greet, very casual, at the pub, which is just off the lobby at the Hilton Atlanta Marietta. And screenings will take place at the Strand Theater in Marietta Square, which if you've ever been there, Super cool theater, definitely a place you want to check out. Uh, you can get your tickets online at renegadefilmfest.com. And again, that's the Renegade Film Festival, March 2nd through 4th. All right, what else you got for us? Well, um, Atlanta Brunch Fest. So everyone, take a breath. I know, we <laughs> love brunch all the time in Atlanta. This weekend, you can brunch yourself to the moon and back <laughs> with other brunch of files, uh, chicken and waffles, crab cakes, mm. hash, lobster mac and cheese, all of those things. And of course, your mimosas, Bloody Marys, your, prun your punch, your beer, your wine, all of this and live music from a group called Davis and the Love and also DJ Q-Tip. So it's happening the 4th and the 11th. So two Saturdays in a row because again, Atlanta loves brunch. I can hear the salivation going on on the other side of this radio right now. It's ridiculous. But it's going on from noon to 4 p.m. at Atlantic Station. The tickets are at atlantabrunchfestival.com. What's your next great event? All right, well, this week we've got a classic operetta from the Atlanta Opera. So we've got Candide running from March 4th to 12th. So that's based on a novella by Voltaire and features music from a guy you might have heard of, the great Leonard Bernstein. So mm -hmm. I'm a big West Side Story fan. Um, I think Candide is probably his most well-regarded work, and the show is making its company debut in Atlanta. It'll be performed at the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center. So the operetta features classics such as Glitter and Be Gay, Make Our Gardens Grow. It's going to be such a good time. The Atlanta Opera is great. Again, that's Candide at the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center, March 4th through 12th. All right, what else you got for us this week? All right, so all the women, throw your hands up at me, <laughs> Lady Locavores. Now, this is an annual event, and it celebrates and elevates the work of women in food and beverage here in Atlanta. So I've been to this before. It is really awesome, as you would expect it to be. And the women run this whole show. So that means from the food to the drinks to the actual dance party, there is dancing, but it's going to be awesome. There's like 30 chefs who participate, 30 um, well, mixologists are blended in as well, so 30 people all together, but it's superstar local talent. So there's Sarah O'Brien, who owns the Little Tart Bake Shop. Uh, Kiata Mincy Parker, who owns a Sip of Paradise Garden. Look that up. That place is amazing. It's like a garden where you can like help plant things that go into drinks, and you can make It's awesome. And then Tiffany Berrier, a.k.a. the drinking coach. And it is Berrier like Perrier. She's told me to say that, so Berrier like Perrier. But all of these ladies and more, this is March.
March 8th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Wild Heaven Beer's West End location. And you can get your tickets at LadyLocavores.com. All right, well, for more information on these and other events, check out HowDoYouAtlanta.com. W-A-B-E. <laughs>